issued a pre-election statement. I'm sure some of us um, have that pre-election statement. Prior to this election, we had engaged the different stakeholders and um, issued that statement based on what we saw concerning the preparedness of INEC for this election. On our part, as uh, CTA, we deployed 70 observers uh, for this particular election, at least three per local government area. And then we had a team, the, the team you are seeing here is the election expert team um, that were deployed to different local government areas to so roam. You know, uh, the other uh, election observers we had were positioned at special uh, polling units across the 18 local government areas to so give us real-time um, reports. As at yesterday, we actually went around the racks to see how prepared INET was. And this morning, as early as 6.30, we were out um, to uh, observe the movement of uh, materials from the rack centers to the, to the PUs. We're happy to note that um, early this morning, we saw that the, there was already deployment from the different PUs to, I mean, from the different rack centers to the uh, polling units. As early as 7.45, some polling units were already set up in Akure South and North and some of the other uh, places that we, that we visited. We can also say that in the different local government areas and polling units where we, uh, where we deployed observers, we uh, can say that about 90% of that by 8.30 they have started um, polling. That means voting has started at 8.30, uh, about 90%. Then the others started around 9, 9.30, just one hour um, after. On logistics, uh, um, CTA notes early deployment of materials. Our field observers reported reports indicate the voting in many polling units commenced at 8.30 a.m. We see this as an improvement over the just conducted Edo election. Even though there were still some challenges, we hope that INEC will learn from this election and continue on this trajectory as logistics have been a major challenge in our elections. So we commend them for um, overcoming some of those challenges, but we also saw that in some areas, for instance, in Akure South from Rack 006, our observers report inadequate vehicles for transporting election materials, forcing adult staff to resort to the use of motorcycles to transport uh, staff and materials. This in addition to other logistical materials that were not adequately provided for or not provided for, including tables, chairs, and uh, tents in voting areas situated under open, uh, open places. The presence and performance of security agents prior to um, this election, yesterday we raised concern about the different figures that were branded by the police. Initially, uh, we had 22,000. After there was 35,000, yesterday morning there was over 36,000. So we were really uh, concerned about that and it, we decided that that was going to be one of the things uh, we were going to look at. Across the different polling units that we went, we saw four, at least four security agents, not entirely police, because the police had said they were going to have at least four police officers in each of the polling units. So, some of the polling units we went to, you can see one police officer, one custom officer, immigration or road safety. But in actual fact, there were four. There was only very few places we went to, we saw two. But after a few hours, two others came uh, to join. So we saw that the police did not deploy four police officers, but there, there were at least four security officers in each uh, uh, polling unit uh, that we went to. We want to particularly commend the DSS because the DSS um, came to uh, uh, came to St. Stephen's, St. Stephen's this morning and arrested a vote buyer who had in his car two um, bags of uh, Ghana must go and had machete in his car. I was there at that uh, polling unit at the time that incident uh, uh, happened. However, in a number of polling units, such as St. James Ward 06, Unit 4 in Akure South, 
police officers were reported to be soliciting for money from party agents. In fact, they saw one of uh, our colleagues and they mistook him for a party agent and they went to ask him for settlement until he told them that he's an observer. So he left and went to look for the next party agent that, uh, we, that, um, he, he, that he needed to get uh, uh, money from. So it has deteriorated to that level that it is the security agents now that go soliciting for money. So we call on the leadership of security agencies to continue to train their personnel on their role and importance of their duties on election and how to maintain neutrality. On voter turnout and conduct of voters, Overall, voter turnout uh, was on the general low, as reported by our observers. We call on the political parties and INEC and other stakeholders to continue to enhance voter education. It is necessary to educate voters about the significance of elections and their right to hire and fire. We commend the participation of the elderly in the process, as was reported in Akures South uh, Rack 004, polling in 06 and 07 where three elderly women aged 80, 85, and 90 respectively casted their votes. When asked for how long they had participated in voting, they explained that they had been in the process since they were young. And when they were further asked why they thought it was important for them to come, one particularly said she cannot be at home where voting is happening because she wants to see a better Nigeria. In her own words, she said, even if I'm hungry, I want to see a better Nigeria. That even if we don't get it in my lifetime, I will be satisfied that I have contributed um, to, that, uh, to that process. CTA applauds voters for their peaceful and orderly conduct throughout the election but frowns at their willingness to sell their votes. Performance of beavers and conduct of INEC officials. According to field report, beavers operated mostly flawless across the state. Voters typically were accredited within one minute using the beavers. However, at unit 026 was five, a close Sijua Day area of Akure South, the beavers machine was taking about five minutes uh, to capture. Even that five minutes, you know it's an improvement from where uh, we are coming from. With regard to INEC officials' conduct, the CTA is pleased with the performance of the ad hoc electoral officials throughout the election. Poll workers demonstrated professionalism and a thorough understanding of their responsibilities in the majority of polling units that we observed, that our observers visited. We urge INEC to continue the practice of making sure that only trained ad hoc staff are deployed for election day duty. We see that one of the progress that we have is every person that you ask, they were trained at one point or the other. Unlike when on election day, trained uh, ad hoc staff, mem uh, staff were replaced with untrained ad hoc staff, which resulted in most of the problems that we had uh, on election day, of vote buying and selling and other malpractices. In our elections, vote buying is fast becoming a norm that involves majority of political parties and the operatives. In the Ondo gubernatorial election, it was not any different. According to our observers, vote buying and selling were rampant and brazen despite the presence of security agents. In one instance at Ward 5, Unit 26, Akure South Local Government Area, Voters openly display their ballot papers for party agents after voting. The situation caused some rancor as other voters protested such action. Voting had to be suspended temporarily and police reinforcement was called in before the process could commence. The same was observed in the two polling units 025 A and B and Unit 26 or KRO, Uro Ijoka area where the polling booths became a bazaar of vote buying and selling. In fact, it was, it was, it was the, the polling unit became a market. It was the center for vote trading. Nobody was afraid of anybody. It was openly um, uh, sold and bought, unlike in some other uh, polling units. At St. Stephen Anglican Primary School, polling units uh, 06 and 07, right, 004, our observer reported the arrest of a political party agent come vote buyer with two bags of money and machete in his car by the DSS. The, the earlier report I mentioned, the person was taken away uh, by the DSS. The INEC security agents 
Nigerians and other interested parties must devise strategies to deal with this un unpleasant occurrence. It is imperative that political parties acknowledge that incentivizing vote buying is illegal and that security authorities hold political party officials accountable for the vote buying actions of their agents. These agents are deployed by political parties. They are deployed by principles. So when somebody is caught in the act of uh, vote trading, that person's political party should be held responsible. The officials of that particular political party should be held uh, responsible. There was uh, the, one of the polling units we visited this uh, morning. Even before voting started, you could already hear uh, calls, you know, saying that money that they gave to you, if you don't bring it in this place, you will not sleep in your house today. So you can imagine things like that happening on election day. Conduct of political parties and political party agents. Regret regrettably, the political elite remains the weakest link in our endeavor to introduce electoral reforms. The political parties are still inclined to use coercion and vote buying to influence electoral outcomes. In the Ondo election, the parties again lived up to their negative reputation as seen in the punity in their action on, votes, on vote buying. For 97% in the, for the two major political parties, 